Okay, Minecrafters and Tetris. Another Let's Play. Uh, today, I'll show you how I managed to get Minecraft running on an old Macintosh classic. And, of course, I'm kidding. Um, this is actually just playing around with the super secret settings. There we go. Everything's back. It's normal to me. Anyway, uh, let's see. Um, what was I going to do? I think I had some shinies processing here. Yes. It's done. Is it moving? It's not so Yeah, I think it's Hey, that's actually good. Okay, I gotta admit, that makes the rain look more realistic. I mean, seriously, that looks so much better on the rain, at least until you start moving around. Now, they use that effect just on the rain. It's a pretty fantastic. Wow, that's just fun. Oh, let's try another one. I gotta say, the Greg Tech Machines look pretty amazing at this. Now we've got it running on the pit boy. There is a way to get back to normal. Oh, 
Why don't we save and restart? And get it out of silly mode. Okay, hopefully you can hear me over this noise. Uh, I'll move a little closer to the mic here. Okay, so we need eight. Now we need four for that. Six each for these. That gets me up to 20. case. Eight more for the two for the two pistons.
Electrolyzed. Or sorry, uh, polarized. Let me get that right. Three motors. One extra. No good news. Four side. Two X. Seven wires. Oh, well, there's a crank out. That fire. Same amount of oxygen I built up. Okay. Okay. 
actually swap that out once right? As long as it's the last item. Get up some sequence of order. Plates. Tin is now not in the current cheap. I can waste a lot of this. using copper rings for that matter. I'm stupid. Bronze, not copper. Well, that's a small price to pay. That could have been far, far, far worse. That could have been far, far worse. That could have been something like that. Imagine having a blind time. Yeah, just yeah, that's just far worse. I'm not sure what these are gonna melt down. Probably just nuggets. I've got a spare nugget here, so. Copper is fairly cheap. It's fairly plentiful. I have found uh, lots and lots of it, so. Okay. Let's cook all this up. Get the plunger ready. I need to smash that crap out of there when it's over. And I've got a little bit left. I'm not sure what I would have done with it. Um, so I just, just let it slip. Okay. Actually, you know, I had some bronze, but that doesn't matter. I need four anyway. I like to put things where they kind of belong here. Like, I don't have plenty of tin in, the, in these rotors here. I mean, look at all this stupid crap that I got out of the, uh, out of the things. I, I swear the, um, quest book used to give you better stuff. Either, I've either had really rotten luck this time, or something else is going on. Oh, hey, kitty. What's the matter? We got a kitty over here. Don't know if you guys can hear him, but... He's over here making some noise. Want some attention. That little thing cats do. I knew there was more to it than this. Okay, so we got here, wrench here, motor here, screw here. Where's that dang pipe? oven. Whoa, it's big. So, ULV machine casing, and I'm guessing that's going to take a stupid amount of steel. 65. Canthal coil block. Oh, really? This needs canthal. As if I didn't have enough problems with uh, running low on chrome due to the insane amounts of stainless steel. I still need to make the oil cracking unit. And here I sit with only 24 stainless steel to my name. That's just great. Wait a minute. Just realized that it's probably very prudent to make some more torches. Since I'm out. To make them in big batches. 
something because I sure like to dump them everywhere. I always, everywhere I explore I, that's uh, dark, at least underground, I think I've torched up enough of the outdoors. I built myself a little empire of where the only thing is me and my little stupid grin minions here. Oh. I wanted to smack off the back of his head. <laughs> okay, yes, I, those things are just driving me crazy. So it gives me great pleasure to, you know, smack them around, push them off ledges, knock them into steam pipes, and listen to their agonized noises. It's howling and screaming. As I, you know, kind of do my little mad scientist thing and treat the, uh, treat the staff very badly. All right. All right, let's find, all right, let's move on and find out what ULV. Yeah, there's ultra low voltage stuff. I mean, you can make ultra low voltage versions of. I mean, it takes eight volts in. I don't know what, how you would get even get there. I'm looking at the transformer. Voltage in, voltage out. Hang on, I would think it would take 32 EU. In, and then put. A, or I would think you could. Oh, what is this? this? I would think it'd take, be able to take 32 in and step it down to eight at four amps. But and what even produces this? A ultra low voltage battery buffer. Well, I'm just curious, though, what were the plans for this? Of one slot. That's. Are they planning to make this game even more punishing and make you start with 8 volts and then move your way up to 32? Oh, there we go. Old voltage transformer. Oh, this was a battery buffer. That's why. I was looking for the transformer. There we go. Voltage in 32. Voltage out 8. And amperage 4. But why? I mean, just what machines actually use ultra-low voltage? Because the pyrolyzed oven, sure they won't. It may be made out of low-voltage stuff on its own, but... I don't know, this this this, this 8 volt stuff just seems kind of pointless. I don't know what the original plans were with this with Greg Tech. I guess it'd be kind of interesting to know. If you're really bent on something that only takes 8,000 liters and the output hatch or one, or has one slot for the in-out buses, you know, I guess knock yourself out and make them. Hmm. Okay, well, let's not dwell on that. Wrought iron. Yeah, wrought iron. Well, I guess it could be worse. It could be steel. That means I get to put the arc furnace to use. I only need it. Oh, separated circuit. I don't think I can one of those floating around here. So I'll basically just make them days at a time, I guess. Oh boy, that's gonna eat up a lot of iron. Or I could just wrench this crap and it'll tear my wrench up in the process, though. You get below the power with that. I better use the uh, assembler for that. Oh, this is what it is. Let's get ourselves a uh, screwdriver and get to work here. Oh yeah, I can also do this. All right, give me a book. You go there, you go there, and we get one squid ink. Hey 
it's a big hunk of steel here. And we have to put canthal wire in the middle of it. Fast multi-block machine for creating charcoal and creosote heavy oil biomass. Now I wonder if it's better at making biomass than what I'm already using. Maybe to produce it in large amounts. Granted, biomass is produced pretty nicely by that fluid solid uh, canner. I mean, I don't know how you would make that any better. Speed can be boosted by providing nitrogen gas, which is a pain in the butt to make. I'm almost to the point where I think I should. I do have a bunch of uh, medium voltage equipment like, just laying around. I have tons of sulfuric acid that I could make into batteries. Maybe I should make a bunch of, uh, I could sacrifice some of the sodium in some of my old, uh, my old medium voltage batteries, fill them with the sulfuric acid, and then just dedicate that to making nitrogen. That'd be one way to just get rid of all that sulfuric acid and make liquid and make uh, plenty of nitrogen gas. I have to set up a compressor. Oh, that could be a fun, that could be a fun little project. Um, Good, let's play. Can't go. Goes to the bottom. Let's see. Uh, can't go. Let's push it to the middle of the bottom of the oh, I see. It's almost like you're pouring stuff onto there. And heat comes up from the bottom and cooks it all up. This is a medium voltage run machine. Ugh. Energy hatch. Now they show a medium, well, so they show a medium voltage one in the picture, but they don't tell you what to use. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, like I said, sometimes this game is not the best documented thing in the world. Hmm. Very interesting. We'll put the sander hatch, replace any top layer with ULV casings. And put bus and our hatch and a muffler hatch. This is gonna take a honking big piece of real estate in the middle of my base as well. So I'm gonna have to put it somewhere. Or the room, or maybe I'll have to build out in the area. Hmm. Not sure what to do with this ugly monster. Uh, all right. Well, the heck. Let's get this. Let's get this uh, bad boy built, or at least get uh, on the road to having the stuff for it. Let's see. High voltage. Let's see how. Let's see what the butcher is doing. That's it. Taking a big suck out of that. And I'm gonna use a lot of my own suits. Frankly, suits me just fine because I'm not. I'm kind of sick of having swimming in this stuff. Crank away. Plates. Screwdriver, this guy is well. Eight, seven.
Assemble. Avengers, assemble. Boom. That was only eight. Woo. We're still recovering from the uh, blast of arc furnacing we did. Yikes. Very much yikes. That took three. That took three thousand nitro diesel, making this actually a very power, more power intensive almost than say. Uh, well, obviously if we're making that out of stainless steel. We'd be in much poor, much more poor shape. Mm. Yeah, I got plenty of that. You know what? I've got all that fuel just sitting there. Why not cook away? And I sit around. And... Alright. Oh yeah, that. That really burnt it off. And guess what? Time to do it all over again. I don't think I I think I burnt that off. Even the steel still gets a little cool. Well, this is going to go on for a while. I'm not going to bore you guys and watch me. It's going to be repetitive. Burning the steel up, waiting, burning steel up, waiting, burning steel up. The next video will probably not be a Let's Play. It will probably be the Pyrolyzer. I might as well do it since I haven't put the thing together. So, anyway, that's all I've got for this one. 